In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make text pop in and out in Premiere Pro. To get started, I just added some text to my timeline on the track above some background footage. Let's begin by selecting the text clip on the timeline and going over to Effect Controls. In here, make sure your time marker is positioned at the start of your text clip. Then go over to where your text is in Effect Controls and open up its settings. Scroll down to the Transform setting for your text and change the scale to 0. Then click the stopwatch next to Scale to create a starting keyframe. Press the right arrow key on your keyboard 5 times to move the time marker forward 5 frames. Change the scale to 125 to create a second keyframe. Press the right arrow key on your keyboard 4 more times to move the time marker forward 4 frames. Change the scale to 95 to create a third keyframe. Now press the right arrow key on your keyboard 3 more times to move the time marker forward 3 frames. Change the scale back to 100 to create a fourth keyframe. Okay, and now when I play this back, my text pops in. To pop it out, move the time marker to where you want your text to pop out. Click the little circle between the two arrows to create a keyframe for the scale's current value. Press the right arrow key on your keyboard three times to move the time marker forward three frames. Change the scale to 95 to create a sixth keyframe. Press the right arrow key on your keyboard four more times to move the time marker forward four frames. Change the scale to 125 to create a seventh keyframe. Finally, press the right arrow key on your keyboard five more times to move the time marker forward five frames. Change the scale to zero to create an eighth and final keyframe. Okay, now when I play this bag, my text pops in and then pops back out when it hits my second set of keyframes. Now this looks pretty good, but let's smooth the animation a bit by dragging to select our first three keyframes. Right click one of the selected keyframes and select Bezier. Then drag to select your last three keyframes. Right click one of them and select Bezier. Notice how I left the 4th and 5th keyframe alone because I want the text to remain still and not animate on a curve between my text popping in and out. Okay, and now when I play this back, my text smoothly pops in and out. One thing you might notice is your text popping in from the corner and not the center. To fix this, go down here and select your selection tool and then select your text. You should see a little circle in one of the corners representing the anchor point which controls where your text pops in from. If you don't see the anchor point, go back over to Effect Controls and make sure your text is selected. Now simply drag the anchor point to the center of your text. Alright, and now my text pops in and out nicely from the center. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.